Hi everyone, I'm Joanne. Welcome to my craft room. Today I'm unboxing the July 2023 Cherry Box. Um, it's from a cherry on top and it is called the Cherry Box. I unboxed this last month so I just wanted to remind you because it was so fabulous and we'll see how it rates. I'm not going to go through everything. I'm just showing you a peek of everything. After I unboxed, too, when I went over the card that tells you everything, I realized I was missing the collage matte medium and the brush, and they sent it right out to me. So um, that was in addition, in addition to what I showed you. I will link this unboxing in the description below along with their um, website just for your convenience. I'm not an affiliate or anything. I pay for my boxes, all of my boxes on this channel. Just wanted to remind you, so this was my rating last month. I gave it an A+. The Cherry Box definitely won in May, all right? Everybody's comments were um, very positive. There wasn't anything, you know, negative at all. This was a straight A+, plus for me. I love this box. So when I unboxed in May, it was actually the June box. So this one that I'm unboxing in June is actually the July box. But I'm going to count this in June as I counted that one in May for the battle of the boxes. I hope that makes sense. I think it does. Let me just get out my sheet for this month. So just to remind you, it's $32, $275 in tax, and $948 to ship to me. And it came to a total of $44.23, which the last block box, there was so much in it. So all I did was slice it open. I haven't removed anything. Take this out. Oh, it feels a lot lighter than last month, for sure. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, because it was so fabulous. I don't know how they would possibly top it. Um, I'm just looking at this. All right. So let's take a look. So I had told people that were interested in the box that they could still get it. Um, but when they subscribe, I suggested that they go back and look at other boxes to make sure um, this wasn't an exception to kind of get an idea, um, you know, to uh, see what is normally in these. So here it is. All right. So let me make sure that's in camera. And I'll... I always forget that uh, the cherry on top does this to their packaging. Let me undo this. I'll be right back. I put everything in the new box to the right. I have everything in the old box to the left because I want to do some comparison here. So this is called... What is it called? <laughs> Did they name it? The Great Outdoors. Whether you're enjoying hiking, camping, exploring, or being in the great outdoors, this cherry box has you covered with all the cute doodle bug fun. So I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but um, this is the double-sided doodle bug great outdoors paper. So here's, <laughs> it is cute. Some trees. Let me make sure that glare isn't destroying your view. Little cabins. Wood. Don't stop watching. We need to rate this. <laughs> if this isn't your your jam. All right. Some tags. I like that they're kind of double-sided. And some dots. And here's some cut apart. All right, so there is one, two, three, four, five, six sheets of 12 by 12 paper. Last month, there was an entire um, paper um, pad of the Tim Holtz Memoranda um, 
36 papers in here, double-sided, quality's the same, 36 papers versus, did I say six? Yeah, I think six. Yeah, six, so that's the paper. All right, big difference right there, right? All right, great outdoors, odds and ends. Odds and ends. So they're, um, it's like an ephemera pack cut apart. I'll open it and show you some of it. There is 139 pieces. It's a good summer themed box, no doubt. I mean, for the great outdoors, this is the time when we can go outdoors, although we're back in a heat, not a heat advisory, a smoke advisory today. I don't even know. <laughs> it's not cute. It's like a, is that a Sasquatch or whatever you call them? I don't know. I don't know, he's kind of cute, but cute mushrooms, trees, mountains. All right, so this is it, 139 pieces. Oh, I like this. All right, sleeping bags, everything to do with the outdoors and camping. Let me put that back. Gives you a little idea there. Now, I have a friend that camps. I used to camp growing up. I mean, as a family, we used to camp. And we used to take the kids camping when they were younger. We would rent cabins or um, uh, up in New England, um, we rented an RV when we did our, um, like, Plymouth, Massachusetts trip. So, But mainly cabins. They had electricity and, and little um, little kitchenettes, so it wasn't super roughing it, but, and a, you know, maybe two beds or a bed and a lot, um, what are they called, bunk beds. So, so there's that. I'm trying to find if there's some kind of an equivalent in this other pack, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, great happiness clear stamps. So that is these. I like these. I like the font. I don't have a lot of alphabet stamps. As a matter of fact, I stamped something today with these tiny little ones. A project I'm working on. All right. I wouldn't have used these. These would have been too big, but it's always good to have an alphabet stamp, I think. Um, turquoise dye ink pad. Who is this by? Creative. Create happiness. Same as this. It's in a turquoise. That's actually what it's called. Acid free dye ink pad. Never heard of them. Never used it. If you have, let me know. Um, evergreen shape sprinkles. Oh, here they are. Shape sprinkles. So you would, you know, sprinkle this on your project. They don't shake. So they're shape sprinkles cute little trees um lime aid mini rub ons is that this it must be i mean it looks like lime aid and there are mini rub ons these are really little i hope you can see that well adventurous headlines I guess it's this. This is um, Doodlebug. So were these. So were these, and so was that. That's this Create Happiness. This is all Doodlebug. I wonder, no, I don't think they're the same. So these are headlines. It's very much a scrapbooking kit. Um, Nature Hike Doodle Pop. All right, here's some like um, raised perfect for scrapbooking and cards. It's cute. It's a little like backpack with a um, sleeping bag, your flashlight, and your compass. It's kind of cute. Um, 
flower sequins. This is doodle bug, so it probably goes, you know, the colors perfectly match that. They're all like little, little flowers. They're cute. And silk flowers in this blue. And it is blue doodle bug, so I'm kind of surprised. It goes, I mean, the blue, it definitely goes. It's in the same color family. Um, glitter plain and polka dot assortment. All right, let me open this. So there's the glitter, there's the plane, and here are the polka dots. All right, so that is it. That's the box. <laughs> All right, so we're looking at six double-sided papers versus an entire pack. Ah, I'm dropping things off my... Um, collage items. There was collage paper I used and I put it away. Um, the buttons, the, what is this? A, um, like a traveler's notebook, a travel folio. These oil pastels and these. So I said I wasn't going to go through what we got last time, but it's hard for me to kind of wrap my brain around this a little bit. So, <laughs> let me just stick this back and then we'll talk and we'll read. <coughs> Excuse me. And now I can unbox this completely. I started a little, um, like a basket with just Tim Holtz things because it was mixed in with my other ephemera and like baskets and stuff. But um, I kind of, Sometimes when I do Tim Holtz, I just do Tim Holtz. So I want it all together and um, I can pull from there for other projects. But so that will all go there. So this is it, guys. <laughs> I'm laughing. I, I just, I don't know how you go from that to this. Now, mind you, that is more my taste, no doubt. Um, they give you some inspiration for scrapbook pages. I'm definitely more vintage. I don't scrapbook. I've made a few layouts and I've either framed, I framed them and gave it as a gift or it's kind of like a standalone. I've made scrapbook album, um, you know, with pictures, like pictures and stuff like that. So, you know, if I went on a trip, this would be cool or I guess to make cards, but let me get to the rating here because I have a feeling you're probably going to agree, but I don't want to sway you too much. All right, so I'll fill out the top later, the cherry box. Again, it was $44.23. Quality versus price, $44.23. Would I pay, it's a $32 box, but I have to factor in shipping and tax because my cost is $44.23. Would I pay $44.23 for this? I don't know. I don't know because I do, if I really like something, I would spend that much for this, but I just don't see how it stacks up with everything we got last month. So quality versus price. It's a good quality. I gave it a five. I think um, I think a four is almost too generous. Listen, I'm going to give it a 3.5. How's that? Box documentation, yes. It gives a nice little folder. You can go online, tutorials, things like that, inspiration. It's good documentation. Curation. I mean, the curation is good for the box. It's It matches. Oh, and here, look. These little flowers kind of go with that. I thought this was the only thing that kind of stood out to me as not, you know, matching. I think this ink pad maybe should have been this blue color. I don't know. Curation. It's curated well. It all goes together. I'm going to give it a five. Preference. 
Um, I'll give it a three. I just, um, for scrapbooking, this is so hard. And I'm sorry that I'm stumbling because I really don't know how to judge this box. I, I think it's almost, it's a definitely for me a disappointment from last month's box. Just the amount of things, the bulk of the things, you know, really cool stuff. Um, it's super cute. If I was a scrapbooker and I had kids and, you know, or I went on some adventure, it, it's totally a cute box. It's not my thing right now. I don't know what I would use it for other than making cards. And who am I giving said cards to? I have a friend that camps. <laughs> you know? She's my age. She's my best friend. I, I, it's cute. And I am going to make some cards out of it. All right, use the boy. Those one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I'm gonna call that ten. So the last time there were seven. Oh, actually, I have to change that because I got the two more: the um, collage, glue, and brush. So let me just make sure. Yeah, 10. So that's how I figured out I was missing items. I went back afterward. Extras, no extras. Like extras are like, is there like a candy? So overall score, I don't want to sway you with my score. Um, like I said, the last one was an A plus for me. And I'm going to give an A through F. So please, in the comments below, first like, you know, the video so it reaches more people. Um, comment, how, what do you think about this box? Um, and given an A through F. And, you know, you can comment if you think I'm way off, I'm being hard, I'm being too easy. However you feel, we all have different tastes. So what I'm going to do, and, I, and I'm glad that I told people um, independently to go back and watch their unboxings of other boxes to see if it's kind of your style and if that, excuse me, that Tim Holtz box was the exception, and it kind of is from what I went back and looked at. It seems to be more this scrapbooking kind of thing. Um, they do do it in unboxing. Um, it already happened, a cherry on top did. I need to find out at that point if I can pause the box. If it's a box I don't like, can I skip a month? All right, I'll try to look that up. I won't try, I will, and put that in the comments if I find that information, or in the description box, rather. Because could I, if I had, if I could have skipped this one, I probably wouldn't have, because A, I'm doing Battle of the Boxes, and B, it's, it's cute. I mean, it's adventurous. I mean, it's not like baby, it, it kind of, it's young, but it's cute, and I don't know. <laughs> at a loss guys help me with your comments all right thank you for watching i'm sorry if this was kind of torturous i just i just how do i compare tim holtz a huge box to this i don't know help me out here help a girl out guys all right have a great day